What a weird night. It's the Giants and the Padres. Let's start with an umpire entry. First pitch of the bottom of the first inning. Marvin surgery missed last year as Tommy Lastella swings at the very first pitch of the game and pops it up. The umpire fell down. Marvin Hudson goes down, slips, and oh, I've had those growing pills. Those are not pleasant, especially if you're wearing all that gear. That's an extra load to take care of, and the knee might not like it either. They have. I mean, that's a lot of weight. So John Tempain, for umpiring in the field, gives the signal, hey, we're going to switch, goes in to put on the gear. So this is the first delay of the game. It's about 12 minutes. Tempain is pretty quick, and here he comes. They have the ability to get some x-rays here. He's walking gingerly, but he is walking. Anyway, here's Tump. That's an entrance. So you're going to think I'm making this up, but I'm not. Everyone's ready, and they go to commercial. Then they come back right away, but no one tells the broadcasters. All right, we're back to baseball. John Tumpain got ready in a hurry, came sprinting out. Mike Clevenger threw a couple pitches and said, let's go. In the bottom of the second. The inning ends. We're back to baseball. No problem, right? Well. Got him with the fastball. The umpires have gone to both dugouts. They pulled Carlos Rodon off the field. So all that build up, we have a problem with the stadium lights. Let's talk about lighting delays. Rule 512 is about umpires calling time. If you want to see the video about calling time when a batter requests play during live ball action, we did the video yesterday. There it is. Click on it. But for today, it is the light failure, B2. The ball becomes dead. Umpire calls time. One light failure makes it difficult or impossible for umpires to follow the play. Darkness, safety issue. That's the rule we're going with. And so the remedy for this one is you either wait it out, which is what they're doing in this game, or you suspend play and you pick it up again the next day or whenever the league decides to reschedule it. So bear with me here because this rule is kind of confusing. If a game gets stopped and cannot restart that night because there's inclement weather or curfew or time limit, but most often it's inclement weather like rain or a hurricane or an avalanche, that game will either be suspended if it was called within the first four innings of play, because it's not an official game at that point, or if it was called after five innings or four and a half if the home team is ahead, then that score, when it's called at regulation, becomes the final score. Oh, I wish them the best of luck. Now, if a game is stopped and can't continue due to light failure, malfunction, or darkness where lights can't be used, and we saw the Cubs tarp fiasco a number of years ago where the rain pooled on the field because the tarp didn't work right. That counts as a malfunction, not as a weather delay. Then what happens is it's suspended, not a regulation game. And no matter what inning it is, it will be suspended and made up at a later date. Got all of that? Good. Because once the postseason hits, None of it matters. <laughs> the commissioner's office overrules all of that in the postseason and makes every game a suspended game, even if it's rain or anything like that. <sighs> Back to this one. I don't think we're going to use this on any roster as soon as they get the lights on the show. I'll be outside and get the show in. So they wait around, they wait around, and they wait around some more. They speak with the operations chief, hoping engineers can fix the light core. Then they talk with the managers who formed a temporary truce during this pause in the war. Right the Everyone retires to the clubhouse to rest muscles that have become sore. And just as the evening appears a most odious bore, they return to the field and step onto the floor. The lights are fixed and ready for play. After all, that's what we're all here for. Excuse me, what is that box doing on the screen without a batter? Ruin my poem. Juan Soto wasn't wasting any time. So the game resumes and, oh no, quick, let's get out of here before something else happens. Visit us online at closecallsports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. Yes, the answer, if they were unable to fix the lights here and they couldn't play anymore that night, would be to suspend play in the top of the third with San Diego leading 3 nothing. Start from that point of interruption the next day or whenever the resumption would be scheduled. And that's it. We'll see you on the site. What a weird night.